All right, Nat Natalia Hawthorne, uh, nice work here at the uh, BC Champs for the 8K road at the Pioneer 8K. Thank you very much. It's a so great race, yes, thank you for putting it on. How do the conditions uh, uh, suit you and your, your style of running? Because you're, you're uh, a bit of a 1,500, 5,000 meter runner. Yes, 15, 5 can, and then I also do love cross country, so always used to those adverse conditions, not knowing what to expect. We knew it was going to be windy because there are all the ferry cancellations, obviously. So, yes, expecting that, but I uh, had a great pack to work in for the first bit. And then I was left in no man's land, but it's always a fun challenge. And just put yourself in the best position. Yeah, and uh, obviously you did a great job of that, setting a, an AKPB. And, uh, of course, it's, <laughs> it's your first time at that distance on the road. But uh, you weren't too far behind Natasha Wodak who is the, is the only person to run under 26 minutes, and she's done it twice now. Yes, um, it was great. I tried to just key off Natasha at the beginning, kind of stuck with that pack, and then kind of settled and got into my own pace and just tried to hold on. Um, but yes, Natasha had a great race out there, very strong. I know going into her half next week, which is exciting. And yeah, she's always a great um, woman to compete against, and it's great. Yeah, for sure. And so she's doing the half, but you're doing uh, the 5,000 meters at the University of Washington. What are you expecting out of yourself there? Yeah, so going down in distance from now for my season. So 5K at UW and looking to uh, PB there again. So break 16 minutes, hopefully. And yeah, just see what I can do. It's always exciting coming off a bunch of base training. I didn't race this cross country season, so it has been a long build. So exciting to just you know see what work I've done and see how that translates to competing for these races. Uh, now that you graduated a couple of years ago, you still have Chris Johnson from uh, UBC Thunderbirds as a coach. How has your your training changed as more of a mature runner? Um, well, it was a very um, easy transition, I'd say, from UBC to post collegiate because. I was able to continue training with CJ, so that's great, and he actually um, is no longer coaching at UBC, focusing on the post-collegiate group now, uh, which is great. A lot of UBC alumni, and we've had a few SFU alumni come join us as well, so we've got a really great group of women moving forward to train in um, various different disciplines on the track, so a bunch of different girls, different strengths, helping each other out, which is awesome. You had uh, good representation uh, from the Thunderbirds. It, there wasn't as many here as, say, the Langley Mustangs, but your uh, teammate uh, Braden Charlton did okay, too. He was top five, I think. Yes, Braden had a good one, and also Julia Howley, who joined us this year, also had a great race today. Finished third as well, so be exciting. She's also racing the 5K at UW, so we look forward to that as well. Well, nice work here. And uh, thanks for this, and uh, good luck at the uh, University of Washington in the 5,000 meters. Thank you so much. Natasha Wodak, and here comes Natalia Hawthorne, a great one there. She has got so much potential. She will be showing her true colors in the next year or two. She's training with Natasha. Natasha just gives you a handshake there. Incredible run there from Natalia Hawthorne. She'll be delighted with that. That's